Hi, I'm Yusuf. Uh, we made two forex positioning uh, parts. We mentioned them. And now we will make forex simultaneous uh, works. The most known style is a uh, helical spread machining with four axes. You can see on the video. The y axis is positioned and x and uh, four axis is working here. And a helical uh, shape is machined like this. We will do that. Uh, we will make uh, the models too. First, we draw a cylinder and we should make a helix for tool pads. Helix diameter is 100, pitch is uh, 80 start and end limit is 0 to 200 okay we created our helix and we switch to manufacturing we must choose mill multi-axis because it's a it will be a simultaneous operation we choose the parts pardon we choose the blank like offset from parts and zero. We create a tool D30. It's a ball mill. And we create the operation. Curve point. Uh, we will do it with curve points because there isn't a, a spiral. Uh, area spiral machined area and we will do it do this in uh, next videos we choose the curve most important things are projection vector and tool axis we choose the projection vector towards line and choose the cylinder click ok tool axis away from line and choose the cylinder face again and click OK and click generate now you can see that tool follows the curve the curve uh, may not be on the surface it will pro it will make the projection Okay. <clears throat> uh, now it cuts the surface, but uh, it must gauge the parts uh, in a, a specific value. How we will do this? Cutting parameters stock minus eight and click generate. Okay, how we will see the tool pads static wireframe? You can see that the tool pad is inside the parts. But as you know, uh, you cannot cut in, in one pass, one Z pass. You must multiply that. For that cutting parameters, multiple passes, the uh, positive value of part stock multi depth cuts and z pass value click ok and click generate ok we had the multiple pass but there's a problem <clears throat> it makes a 5 axis simultaneous 
traverse move. Uh, four axis machine will not work with this uh, with this tool pads. How we change it? We will change the uh, transfer rapid and clearance option. It is a bounding box in standards and we will change it to cylinder. We click the point, we click, we choose the vector and we write the radius. It's I write 8, 80. When you click OK and click display, you can see the clearance, uh, clearance objects, but it will not be enough for uh, using this clearance uh, option you must change between regions and clearance tool axis click ok and click generate There's a problem here. It makes a it makes that jerky move. You must choose specify cut area and regenerate again. And now it's work. It works fine. It makes a four axis simultaneous, uh, simultaneous transfer move. And your uh, rotary table can work like this. Okay. Uh, how we will see the uh, IPW? You cannot see it with 3D dynamic. You can. You must work on 2D dynamic. You must make a little bit faster. You can see the cutting like this. Okay. It is as you can see it's easy because you just choose a curve. Uh, the hard things are project vector and tool axis. In standards you use Toward line for projection vector and away from line for tool axis. Okay, it's all for this video. Uh, if you like the video, please press like button and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.